Welcome to your Wildcat Weekly Wrap-Up. The drive and the basket. Turn mark, four seconds. Oh, my. This is the 3W. Hello and welcome to the 3W, your show for all things Indiana Westland Athletics. I'm your host, Chase Evans. It's been another eventful week across the IWU sports landscape. The Crossroads League championships are in the books and it's national tournament time for the soccer and volleyball teams. The men's and women's basketball teams are also in full swing with a full slate of games this week. And as we approach Thanksgiving, we look at how IWU athletes give thanks and celebrate this holiday in style. It's all ahead, so let's get to it. The number four ranked women's basketball team tipped off their home opener against Cornerstone University Tuesday night. Early on, the Lady Wildcats down by five, but Katrina Blackman cuts into the deficit by slicing through the lane and getting the friendly roll. Nice stuff there from the sophomore. Then Claire Ray pulls up a shot in transition. Can't get it to go, but fellow senior Paige Smith cleans up the mess, powers it home for two of her 19 points. That puts IWU in front. Then late in the first half, Ray finds sophomore Tennille Krebs, who buries the three ball from deep. But in the second, it was a much different story. The Lady Wildcats went on a 13-0 run to start the second half. And here's the first basket for the Golden Eagles. That comes at the 11:35 mark. Believe it or not, there was some offense too. Nice ball movement here to find who else but Paige Smith. And she just did it all this game. Then sophomore Val Sohaski finishes it off with a nice pull up in the lane. And IWU uses a huge second half to win it 60 to 35 over Cornerstone. Let's move on to the women's soccer match Wednesday night in the NCCAA regional semifinal against Cincinnati Christian. Early on, freshman Katie Panabecker looking to mount on the 1-0 lead for IWU. She was not done yet, though. A few minutes later, she gets a nice feed in the midfield from Jordan Harris, and this time she slams it home with the right foot. IWU up 2-0 at the break. Then in the second, a nice team play here. Senior Becca Coffey battles through and gets a deflection from Kelsey Johnson. And then who else? Katie Panabecker there again, slots it in the side netting, and that will do it. IWU wins it 3-0 over Cincinnati Christian. Up next for them, Grace in the regional championship. We'll rack up a couple of other wins for those teams. Coach Brooks and the basketball team, well, it looks like they're reloaded for another great run. Well, as you know, it's that time of year again, a time to give thanks and realize how blessed we truly are. Indiana Westland athletes are thankful for a lot of different things this time of year. And when it comes to Thanksgiving trivia, well, they should be thankful I wasn't taking grades. What would you say you are thankful for this year? I think the huge thing I'm thankful for is uh, for a team that's really interpersonal. Thankful for my bed so I can sleep. I love to sleep. For God giving me the opportunity to step back on the field since I've been out for two seasons. Rap music because it pumps me up before games. The team that I'm on, um, new faces, a bunch of new girls. Uh, a place to live and uh, the Tonago boys being my alarm clock. What is your favorite Thanksgiving food then? Um, smoked turkey. I really love pumpkin pie. All the works, basically. I like all of it. I'm not picky when it comes to food. Stuffing. A lot of stuffing, and then I put a little bit of gravy on the top of it. Definitely stuffing. Probably stuffing. I'm a big fan of stuffing. I love stuffing. Uh, stuffing is a weakness of mine. Corn casserole. Corn, too, and mashed potatoes. Stuffing. I love it. What is the name of this town and state where the first Thanksgiving was held? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Johannesburg, Virginia. The Providence? The Massachusetts. <laughs> Plymouth, Rhode Island. Jamestown, Virginia. That's a good answer. Dang it. <laughs> what was the name of the ocean that they traveled over here? Atlantic. Pacific? Pacific Ocean? Atlantic Ocean? The Atlantic. The name of the ocean that they. Pacific? Atlantic? Yeah, Pacific? No, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Atlantic Sea. They cross the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Last one. What is your best impersonation of a turkey? Am I supposed to do it? Go, <clears throat> go, Certainly a lot to be thankful for, as you can see. Well, it's that time of the show when we bring on our very special guests. This week, it's two of the women's basketball players, Paige Smith and Katrina Blackman. I am very thankful to have you guys aboard with us today. Um, 
Uh, you guys have had a great season so far, 4-0, ranked fourth in the country. What are you thankful for on this team so far, Paige, as a senior? Um, I'm just really thankful for the team chemistry we have. Um, all the girls are so great, and we get along so well. And mm -hmm. it's just it's great to have a bunch of teammates that you know care about you and that you care about, and it's it's been really great playing with them. Yeah, you guys have gelled so well with the underclassmen, upperclassmen. Katrina, you are a transfer sophomore. You came from Wright State. Uh, you went to Marion High School, so you're, you're familiar with this area. Uh, how's that transition been? It's pretty made it pretty easy with people like Paige and, and yeah. there to kind of guide you along. Yeah, well, the girls are great, um, great leaders, so it was very easy to make the adjustment. Mm -hmm. And being in my hometown, it's just a lot of love and support. So mm -hmm. this season and this year has been just so much easier mm -hmm. for me. I heard half the gym was Katrina Blackman fans the other night. Was that true? <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we don't have that many home games this year, so I called up almost everyone I could think of, you know, we have our home game, you guys have mm -hmm. to come out. When it, it's been like forever since mm -hmm. I've actually played uh, basketball, so uh -huh. everyone was just excited to come and see me. Uh -huh. <laughs> you guys have a lot of fun on this team, a lot of chemistry within, like I yeah. talked about, from the upper and underclassmen. Talk about the pregame rituals I hear you guys have. <laughs> it's pretty crazy there, Paige. Um, well, our team has some superstitious people, which is <laughs> kind of funny because, you know, Christian University. Uh -huh. But What does we, Coach Brooks think about that? Co Coach Brooks is actually secretly superstitious. Okay. <laughs> but he only has certain sweater vests. Like, if we lose a game, he will not. The sweater vest goes in the back of the closet. Okay. He does not wear it again. <laughs> but um, our rituals, we have one that Katrina always gets thrown off by. Um, it's going to sound really stupid, but we always pretend like we can't find where the flag is. Like in the gym and Tania will point uh -huh. out one that's wrong or like a conference flag and then Claire comes up and is like guys it's right there but the first three games Katrina was like seriously guys you don't know where the flag <laughs> is no like idea. seriously <laughs> each game I had You're no still idea adjusting like, to what is wrong with you guys it is on the wall right there <laughs> Katrina is kind of the jokester inside the locker room. Is that what I hear, Paige? <laughs> yeah. what, what's, what, what do you usually say in there? What's going on in there before and then after the games usually? Oh, it, it doesn't matter. I'll find something. <laughs> um, well, we were, we're getting uh, matching headbands, and uh, I just made a joke because they were $9, and I just made a joke, well, uh, if you want to get them cheaper, we can call my cousin Junebug. The, <laughs> the Nike sign might be backwards, but I mean. <laughs> Always lightening the mood is Katrina. Yes, uh, yeah. yeah, definitely. You guys have a lot of fun. You guys have been a lot of fun to watch. You guys are both transfers, too, so kind of mm -hmm. the same journey to IWU. You're finishing up here as a senior. Yeah. Uh, kind of a bittersweet, would you say, Paige? Yeah, I can't, it goes so fast, and I really do wish that I could have spent all four years here, but mm -hmm. um, I mean, Indiana Wesleyan is such a great place, mm -hmm. and it, I'm so thankful that I transferred mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. It's been absolutely wonderful. Well, thanks so much for coming on. Thank I'm you. very thankful thanks again. For having thanks um, for having us. I appreciate us. that and best of luck this season. Well, up next for these girls, they're going to travel to Winona Lake this weekend and they're going to take on Grace College in that classic Rochester at 10 a.m. also on Saturday. You can catch them back in Lucky Arena next Tuesday at 7 o'clock when they kick off their conference action against Marion. A couple other things to look for in the coming days. The men's basketball team back at it Saturday at home. They battle a tough NAIA Division I team in Damon College. That will tip off at 3 o'clock in Lucky Arena. Keep an eye out for junior Jordan Widener. He's averaging 17 points this season and shooting an astounding 55% from the floor. He's led the Wildcats to a 5-1 record so far this season. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Enjoy the holiday week ahead. And if nothing else, remember to stop and give thanks. Once again, thank you for tuning into this week's show. That's a wrap. I'm Chase Evans. We'll see you next time on The 3W.